Lesbo saying he's ready to go after this extremely talented Montreal defense. He will throw on his first play of the game and drops it in over the top of the expanding linebackers. That will be Shamar Bridges making the grab and moving the sticks on first down. And once again, Antwi bounces in. Fletcher bounces out. Different look here from the Alouettes we haven't seen this season. Is Alexander with pressure on. Ball is out. It's on the turf rolling around. Alexander lost his helmet. And the Hamilton Tiger Cats for now have picked up the football. Hot in pursuit. On first and ten. Bo, play action. Pressure on and he'll go down. Flying into the backfield, Tyrese Beverett. Adds his second sack of the campaign. By the way, he's 3 of 4 on throws of 20 yards or more down the field. What will he do here on second down? He goes to that intermediate range, intercepted. It's George Jr. cutting back towards the goal line. Touchdown, pick six. Hamilton's defense, which has struggled to get interceptions, the least in the CFL, just two coming in, have their third of the year, and it goes for a major was avoiding trying to force plays, avoiding trying to do too much. Here, trying to get things going, looks like he's just trying to force a ball in to way too tight a window to Cole Speaker. Kenneth George Jr. on the spot with the coverage, comes up with the interception, makes Alexander pay for that mistake in a big way. And the turnover ratio I mentioned for the Alouettes, plus six coming into this game, second to only Saskatchewan. There's only two teams in the positive. It's Montreal and Saskatchewan. Well, all of a sudden, a fumble that's recovered after a Davis Alexander bobble in the backfield. Going one on one here in week nine in the CFL. Davis Alexander out of Portland State steps up. Pressure on, skips away from it, looks down the field and rips one to the sideline. And there is the frozen rope that we've been hearing about. Tyson Philpott on the receiving end. Crowd into it at Tim Hortons Field. Hamilton rushes four. Alexander looks over the top to Charleston. Rambo! Touchdown, Alouettes! In between coverage, Davis Alexander to Charleston Rambo. And the thing you've got to like about this throw, go back to the interception where Davis Alexander maybe got a little too aggressive trying to force the ball into a window. At some point, you got to head for the escarpment. Otherwise, the cavalry's coming. This is picked! Right over the middle, intercepted. It's Bryce Cosby looking for Tim White. And miscommunication as Bo Levi Mitchell threw it directly from inside 40 yards. Five of six so far this season. Smooth through the uprights and the Alouettes take their first lead of this ball game. Moment for a long time getting a start in professional football. Wants to make the most of it. He'll begin with a completion. Tyson Philpott crosses the 50 and rolls his way out to the 54-yard line. Mass motion and basic inside run. A lot of window dressing for a downhill power run from James Butler. First down Hamilton. Catch it, rush it, block it. Does it all. Davis Alexander looking for Charleston Rambo. Can he get another touchdown? It dropped in and they'll call it a major. Caleb Evans in at quarterback. Three rushing touchdowns on the season. Make it four. As the Alouettes extend their lead by way of the short yardage package and the offensive line gets the push. Davis Alexander in his first CFL start loves it. And here's a great look down the line. Watch the surge from the Alouette offensive line. Philippe Gagnon leading the way. Wood Manzi turned 27 years young yesterday. First round pick out of Guelph. Talking about all those receivers. As now Mitchell over the top for Luther Hockett. And Bonu intercepted! Cabianento robbed it over the top just like he did in the Great Cup on this field. And the Alouette's defense continues. The only touchdown in this ballgame again, the Kenneth George Jr. Pick six off Davis Alexander. Could have been his second interception. Alexander with really no opportunity to protect himself. Caleb Evans pulls the football, throws it over the top, looking for David Dallaire, catches it into the end zone. Touchdown, Alouettes. And Caleb Evans comes in cold off the bench. Play action and throws a fading corner for the major. Sneaks out of the backfield. 
Working towards the corner. Linebacker Trevor Hoyt in chase. Ento changes the math with his length and range in the passing attack as well. As Mitchell now looks down the seam, Tim White. Easy mode. Oh, they've been waiting for that all night. And too much this season for the Mitchell to Tim White connection. See what he can do here on the two-point conversion. 0 for 3 this year are Hamilton in these situations. Make it 1 of 4. Shamar Bridges holds on. And add two more onto the score. Look at it. Get this done. Get this guy back here. Every time he touches the football, good things happen. As now Alexander looks for Cole Speaker into the Alouette's bench. And did he hang on to that? Alexander pulls it on the run fake. Looks downfield. He's got room to run. Alexander to the 10 and slides down. Taking a seat after collecting the first down. Loves competition. Loves big moments. 11-point game. Inside two minutes remaining. Let's see what they choose to go with. Alexander hands it off. Cutting back, left side, towards the end zone. And did they call touch? Well, oh, flags there at the end of the play. 10-yard penalty on Montreal, number 65. Major foul, misconduct, you are Hamilton, number 15. Many of them will see how he does, but excited to see a Canadian quarterback get big reps in a big moment as Taylor Powell sidearms this one underneath. And Butler takes a seat, tired of getting popped after so many catches throughout the evening. And 33-16, Montreal gets the victory here in Hamilton.